Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here again. Looks like we are enjoying, or you are, I know I am, this series about these collection tubes, the test, the inversions, where they go, what department they go to, what specimen they yield, special notes about the tubes in case you're conflicted and not really sure, like the red top, the glass red, the plastic red, all that good stuff. So that's what we have been talking about. And I'm so glad you guys have been enjoying it. And if you're here for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe. You will not be disappointed lots of great information like I've always said like I will continue to say because this is the best flip fam going we are part on part four of our specimen collection section of the phlebotomy exam flashcard system by the ASCP so that's what we have been studying. So if you guys hear me say something and you're like, mm, I don't know about that, it's not me. It's not me. It's the ASCP phlebotomy exam flashcard system and these are the answers that they want you to give on this card. As I stated, and I don't, I, I'm hoping I stated this, but I meant to state it. I said something, but I didn't go back to it pertaining to that black top tube. So if you guys have not seen me talk about the black top tube, the dark blue and the light blue, I believe it's part two. Just check it out. But what we said or what the card says is um, the black top tube is used for set rate and ESRs. So come to the live tonight. So we can discuss that because I meant to say something and you guys already know I've seen it in the comment section but we're going to talk about that tonight and any other questions and comments that you may have about the system and about this section and these answers so let's get ready for that turn your notification bell on so you don't miss it though turn your notification bell on if you have to turn it on turn it off tweak it make sure you don't miss any of the lives do that and any uploads that I put up so you're always current you're always in the loop with us Jumping right into this video because I don't want to, I, that's enough rambling. We are on part four, as I've stated. We've done three, six, nine, nine tubes, maybe ten if you're counting the two serum separator top tubes. So we've done those and today we are going to go over our tan top tube, our yellow sterile top tube, and our yellow non-sterile top tube. Mm-hmm. And I've also stated how people would just jump all over me when I would say the yellow top tube is not first. And we're going to get into that and you're going to understand why. Again, I keep saying to you all, please be specific when you say blue top or yellow top or green top because they're multiple colors. So you have to be specific and say dark blue or royal blue or light blue or sky blue. Whatever terminology you're using, use it tan top tube you guys don't know this is a tan top tube yes it's tan it's colored tan and yes there's a little blood in it because i've done a stick with it and um it's just there i just keep up so this is your tan top tube now this tube i've only known it to be used for lead analysis and the ascp card states that the tube is tan the tests lead analysis Additives, heparin, not sodium heparin, not lithium heparin, just heparin, yes. The specimen type that it's going to yield is plasma. And we need to invert this tube after we've collected blood into it eight to 10 times. And there's no special section for this tube. It goes to chemistry, but think about it. And you have to use your brain and remember the periodic table when you were in school, lead, chemistry it's a chem it's chemistry so this isn't going to go to hematology this isn't going to go to coag that's just my little extra stuff that's not on the card but you guys know how i get tan top two lead analysis invert eight to ten times additive is heparin and it goes to chemistry <laughs> All right, we're gonna just move right along because i'm so excited to finish this series since we are what more than halfway through it now and um Next tube is yellow sterile. I love to talk about these yellow top tubes because like I said, there, there have always been, you know, little discrepancies about them. And where are my yellow top tubes? Why are they not here? We have gone over pretty much all of these tubes. <laughs> Every color. Every color and we're still going. And I know you see some in there we haven't talked about. If you see something, let me know. We'll touch base on it. But meanwhile, 
I think, don't ask me why, my yellow tops, I think are in here. Because we talked about the yellow tops during one of our um, live sessions recently uh, because blood cultures came up and someone kept asking me about blood cultures. So blood cultures are not on these cards for specimen collection. They're not a part of this series and the ASCP phlebotomy exam flashcard system, they do not have them here talking about the what type of bottles they are, what tests they yield, the additives and all that stuff. So we will get into that if you guys want to. Just comment down below and we can go in depth about those. So I found one of my yellow top tubes. I need to find the other one. This is the sterile yellow top tube. Did I say red or yellow? This is our sterile. Now, I've always emphasized and told you all, when you were talking about these tubes, please say fungal, isolator. You can't just say yellow and expect someone or a nurse or a doctor to collect the right tube because they don't know. We know this. So, our two yellow top tubes, one is sterile, one is non-sterile, which is why you wanna be careful how you put it out there. Our fungal isolator tube, it used to have fungal written on top of it, right on the label. It now has isolator. Same thing, because if it's a fungal draw, it's isolated, and you don't mix it with all the other departments of the lab, you make sure you pull it first, and it's for microbiology. This is why I've always said, no, the yellow top doesn't go first. Um, which yellow top are you talking about? And most people were talking about this yellow top, which we'll get into in a second. This is your sterile yellow top tube. It is a blood culture tube. It is a blood culture tube. The additive is SPS. It's going to yield whole blood for us and see that little liquid down in the bottom you know you got to invert it and let's please take our time and invert this joker eight to ten times and make sure that it mixes well same thing with blood culture bottles we've got to invert them we've got to make sure that we're mixing it so that the additive is mixing with the blood so that we are not compromising our specimens microbiology and do not the note on the card says do not confuse this tube with your non-sterile yellow top tube. This is the tube I think people have always said to me, your yellow goes first. And I'm like, no, yellow does not go first. Because I've, I had never talked about this, the blood culture yellow top fungal isolator tube. But let's stick to the card. So our yellow top tube, yes, non-sterile, is for HLA testing, paternity tests, and tissue typing. This is for whole blood. Now it has some an additive in it as well. We have to invert it eight to 10 times. This is what the card is saying. It wants us to invert it eight to 10 times. It's gonna yield whole blood, like I said. Acid citrate dextrose, ACD. This is that ACD tube that you guys like to say, it goes first. No, it doesn't. The yellow top tube does not go first in the order of draw. The gold top tube, are you saying gold is yellow? Let's be, let's be careful, let's be careful. This is yellow, non-sterile, goes to chemistry, and please do not confuse it with your blood culture fungal isolator tube, which goes to microbiology. These three tubes are easy. These are three tubes that are so easy, and I just don't want you guys to ever confuse these two. You have a yellow top, and you have a fungal top and you have to be specific when you say that lead analysis with your tan heparin is in the tube it's going to yield plasma we have to invert it eight to ten times and it's going to chemistry our yellow sterile tube you can say that it's either the fungal or isolator tube it's a it's for blood cultures it's going to test for blood cultures the additive in it is sps it yields whole blood. We want to invert it eight to 10 times. It's going to go to microbiology and do not confuse it with your yellow top non-sterile tube. And your yellow top non-sterile tube is used to test for HLA, paternity test, and tissue typing. It 
has ACD in it as an additive that is acid citrate dextrose. It produces, it's going to yield, I'm sorry, whole blood. We're going to invert it eight to 10 times. We're gonna send it to chemistry and do not confuse it with your sterile yellow type, yellow top tube for microbiology. Those are the three tubes for today. That is what is on this card for the ASCP phlebotomy exam flashcard system, which is right here. I've linked this card system down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out, you want your own set. But we're going to be using them for a while here because it's a ton of them and I do want to get through them. I'm so glad you guys came to see part four. So part four is done. We have, is it one more or two more? We have one more left, yes. Because I said there were five cards. So we've done the pink, the glass red, and the plastic red. We did the black top tube, which I don't have any of. I've been saying too, if you guys get your hands on some black top tube, just send me one. I'll cash up you to put the postal. We have the dark, we went through over the dark blue top and the light blue top which sometimes the light blue top is referenced as sky blue. Do not confuse your light blue sky blue with your royal blue. We've gone over our gold top two, our tiger top two. Some people say tiger top, some people would say uh, speckled red top two. And on here they just call it your red gray top two. The gray we went over, our light gray, and we went over our dark green. And today we did our tan, our yellow sterile, and our yellow non-sterile top two. That is it. We have lavender left, green, light green, and our orange top two. So stay tuned for that. We will do that tomorrow. Us, uh, so I'm excited. Y'all come back tonight for for um if I pop up. I don't know what time I'm popping up. That's why they're called pop ups. So make sure your notification bell is on when you see the pop up. We are going to discuss these cards so far, and you guys can let me know what you think. Why does the card say what it says? Because you you've learned something else. Maybe I don't know, but that's what we're gonna do because that's what the pop ups are all about. So let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Share, like. All that good stuff for this one, this video, so that I'll know what you guys want me to put up and what we're going to do after we finish this section of these cards so that we just we can just keep it moving. So, yes, I'm going to have some coffee. Y'all see how I start rambling because it be early in the morning when I record these. And, um, yeah, let me go do that. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.